In this channel, we have a tradition where I suit up for the season finale, but still no pants. And you know why? Because this is a hobby, not a job. Let's begin. Wilhelm. <laughs> No. Emilia Samawa, Konoma Ryusha de Hinteo Hanasan. Don't release the children's hand. Shuju Nano de Shona. Master Anata Samano Mewa, Servant. Master and Servant? Nah, no, he's just a dog. He's a cute, straight dog. Yeah? <laughs> Giga Chad. Giga Chad just leaves. Honestly, the fact that Amelia even thought about Subaru there when she said master and servant, I think that's a pretty good sign. Now, it's not boyfriend-girlfriend. I don't think she even sees him as a man. But hey, woof woof, we're a good doggy, remember? And remember what Wilhelm heard? Subaru was like, I'll gladly be her pet dog. And Wilhelm's like, Natsuki Subaru, are you sure you want to say that? Do you have any dignity? <laughs> No opening today, right? There shouldn't be. Okay, the fight! The fight! His eyes, Subaru's vision! This is where we have to say, if this is the extent of your devotion for the wits, aren't you slothful? Like, we still have to hit him with that line, right? We've said, no ka furueru, right? We've said, I, I, I don't think we've said death just yet, but we gotta tell him he's fucking slothful, man. Oh. What the f- What? What do these hands do? As soon as they touch you, you start bleeding, bro. What? And he hurts too. So it's not just the vision, right? With Necked, every sensory is being shared. Obviously, vision is being shared right now. But the pain as well. The realization that a tier 3 Discord simp for an e-girl realizes that there's other mods as well. What? You told me I was a special one. You were the only one that I was chatting with in the DM. New one. Last time was Clarissa. Let's go, Julius. Oh. Cap, no shot. He has a hundred twenty kilometers per hour pitch. Is that even possible? Is is a hundred twenty kil? Seventeen year old kid. Not even like the top top peak Japanese fucking pitchers that goes to the coastian. Can they pitch at this speed? <laughs> Oh, I'm taking se Oh, okay, okay, sorry. I was looking at MPH. I thought this is 120 MPH. That's the metric that I always see during the baseball thing that I'm like, bro, if you even get over 100, that's fucking crazy. Okay, okay, 70, that's reasonable, right? Subaru is pretty fit. Clutch! Nice teamwork! Spirit Knight! What is he doing? What is he doing? We just, it feels like we just got possessed there, right? It feels like we just got possessed there. It's, it's the same type of effect, but we should have a counter strategy. This time we know what to do, right? Okay. No more next. Betruk is gone. There he is. No. I love, how, I love how when it's Betrugus smoke, the tongue comes out. When it's not tongue, it's Subaru. When the tongue comes out, Betrugus, Subaru. Betrugus, Subaru. Schizo. Schizo. Oh? I can return by that. And then we're gonna show Betrugus. What's in our DM to Satella right now?
We can see more. Because Betelgeuse is right now inside Subaru. I, re I can return to the... I don't know exactly what's going on, but this is like a soul. So like, can one w say that Satala's... This is Satala's soul? Right? Because this is Betelgeuse's soul within our inside body different domain. I don't really know, but Satala soul? But you have to know this. Wow. Wait. She said something. She actually said something this time, bro. No. Rejected. You're not him. I want the neat. No. You are not the one. It's just, again, it's, it's just so hard to see, like, what this person really looks like, but it kind of looks like Amelia, right? There's, there's a resemblance of half-elf, silver hair, like, who knows, right? We haven't seen our hair just yet. In the openings, I think we have, but Subaru is the one. And Betrigus realizes, I wasn't the King Blue Lock Edition. <laughs> <laughs> Spell him? The soul seems to be just killed here. <laughs> Damn! And he's back in the body. That's a crazy gamble. That's a, that's a crazy gamble. I mean, the whole next thing to fight against Betrugu's turn to senses was a crazy gamble. But then afterwards, the plan was, all right, if we get possessed, I will let Betrugu see Satala. And because I know that Satala loves me more, I will gamble on her, like, expelling him or, like, punishing him. It worked, but, like, that's crazy. <laughs> you gave up after one go? How cowardly can you be? I mean... <laughs> Yeah, I, I guess that's true. We've, been, we've had way more. End him. In a soul level, though. You gotta kill his soul, though. I subbed to your OnlyFans for 30 years! And this is what I get! I've done everything for you. And you never responded to my DMs. And the one time you do, you told me I'm not the one. <laughs> Man, if Betrugus said the exact same lines of like, you have a debt, you could never pay me back, right? Like, it would be totally like Super Amelia. But again, the witch's cult, their love for Satala is very one-sided. There's a lot of one-sided loves in this show, right? The witch's, the, the cult's love for Satala, right? Satala's love for Subaru, to be honest, is kind of one-sided. Like, Rem's love for Subaru one-sided, right? Subaru's love for Amelia one-sided. Everything is fucking one-sided. I'm not sure if he's done yet, but it looks like it. Are you done? Taida. Oh. Now, you didn't say Anata Taida Destiny, but it's kind of that, right? You were Taida at the end. Gospel again. The gospel, man. You can't read it still, right? What? So what do we know about the gospel? We don't know how to read it. And it seems to have a set of instructions, a guide that tells Betrugus these are the steps you need to do. Multiple times he infers that there is no account of you in my gospel, as well as last episode, I think, when Mimi was looking at above us at Betrugus, you know, in his unseen hand floating around. What did he say? Like, this was not part of my gospel. Like, it's like an unknown variable. And then... The gospel runs out of page, not pages, but there's no script here. There's, there's no more things to do. Intentionally? I don't know. Blank page? I, I, who knows what the blank page means? Is it just because Betrugus is dead? I have no clue. The gospel has been one of the most fascinating things about this show, though. Or maybe... It gets updated like a patch. Like, the, I don't know who sends the updates. The Satala? Because these are things you need to follow to accomplish the ordeal, right? Everything is for the day of the ordeal. But like, it ends here, as in like, there's... Ne this is like next week's set of instructions? <laughs> I don't know. Or, or, this is the end. Like, 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 this is part of the script. 
for the day of the ordeals to continue or something properly. This is the plan. For Betragus to die, you've done your job. You're done now. That could be one interpretation. Okay. Firestones. Someone stole it? Okay. And which carriage is that? There's a bomb! There's a bomb! <laughs> it's gonna be on Amelia's card, isn't it? So, the... <laughs> it's gonna be... If, if it's on one specific carriage, it's probably with the kids and Amelia then, right? Oh, well, it's not over yet! <laughs> I mean, the episode just started, right? Honestly, Betrick is dying like that. I mean, we have way more left with the finale. Oh, thank you, Alicia, for the raid. Hope you guys had a great stream. Guys, if you don't know who Alicia is, y'all should know by now. Please go check out her channel. They do anime reactions, too. We're currently watching ReZero finale. Hope you guys <laughs> know what the show is even all about. Right now, though, what's going on? Oh, oh she's thinking about him? That's kind of good, right? Like, the fact that she's even thinking about Super right now, all the cool moments. Namai, give me your name, baby girl. Ure wa Natsuki Subaru. I am Emilia's pretend knight. <laughs> These are some cringe but good moments, right? Where's the bomb? You're gonna go boom soon. Underneath. That's the last level, huh? Physically rigged. Patrush. Oh, that's the one where you're supposed to be using the Wait. I know who can do this. He's right there. This motherfucker showed up last episode for no reason. He must have a purpose. I've seen him. Drive faster than the white whale, bro. And I've also seen him push him out of the cart. Oto, are you gonna clutch for us today? Mm. Let's go, bro. Let's go, Oto. I mean, one of the craziest shit, and this is kind of spoilers and not really. It's just an unfortunate fact of me watching a show from eight years ago and seeing a cover, cover picture for season three. Oto is in the cover pic for season three, right by Bieko. That just kind of shows, like, how insane or important of a character he is. You know what I mean? Also, yes, look at Patrash and this dragon. Patrash, go. Patrash, very prideful, right? This dragon right now can't stand up to Patrash. All right, we have Ia. We have Ia. Yeah, happy ending. Oh, so don't, that, that should be a death flag, but it, I mean, it's a season finale. I don't think it's going to be a bad ending. This should be fine. It's, it's a season finale. This flag is nullified. It's a lot of flags. Oh, Oto knows the secret. Oto knows all the secret routes. Your soul of language, divine protection. Okay. Mama has a divine protection. Soul of language. What does it do? Bro can talk to anything. Land dragons to insect. Holy shit. Okay, okay. I, I see why he's so important. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Take him with the <laughs> this is just a vertical incline, bro. <laughs> Oto has a mad look in his eye. My man is insane. Holy shit, he's enjoying this, isn't he? He gets high off the thrill of this? What is this? <laughs> what? 
I, I don't know. It, it looks like he was actually getting high off of his own ability to go that fast, bro. Otto's getting more development. I like him. Divine protection, solo language, right? Can talk to insects, creatures, dragons, anything. And he gets super high when driving fast. Oh. The trees are loud. Something's coming. Who? What? It's purple. Oh, my man, Better the Goose is still alive. I don't want him to die. He's such a good villain. I love his voice acting. He's still here, though. He's still here, right? How? How is he still alive? Oh, man. He is so diligent, man. You can't say he's slothful. Look at him. Yeah. There's nothing to fear, Amelia. There's a goddamn bomb underneath you. You're about to go boom. Wilhelm ran to someone. Call members. Wilhelm. Anytime Wilhelm does anything, bro, it's just a highlight reel. He's so fucking sick. Bop, 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 bop. What did Puck say? Seems you and I, uh, you and I won't be needed this time. Taking physical form without reason, James Mana. Puck, don't act as if you're ever gonna be in a good moment to clutch. You literally exist as a great spirit, but you'll never do anything actually helpful when you need it, when we need you the most because it's cheating, right? Puck, straight up, again, like Reinhard, Roswell, Puck, these motherfuckers never do anything. They're conveniently always just like placed outside of the story so that we just can't get bailed out every time by them. So slothful, Puck. Stand strong, kids. To Subaru. Never mind. Subaru. Subaru. Barsu. Nah, it's fine, it's fine, that's fine. The snitching is actually good. I'm glad that Petra tried to keep the secret, but if it comes out and she knows who said it, it's actually a good thing. Now she knows that Subaru actually cares and he's bad. It's fine, kid, it's fine. Tactical leak. Tactical leak, where is he? Eyes in the road, Otto. What about you, Slothful? Now you uselessly hard worker. Honestly, again, Betrugius has always been the antithesis of Sloth, right? Whenever he's slothful, he gets very mad and punishes those and says we need to pay back, you know, our slothfulness with love, love, love. He's quite diligent, which is very interesting. Like, the exact opposite of what he stands for, and it's kind of funny, yeah. How many times do I have to play the fucking last level, man? Over and over. And the interesting thing is gonna be when we see other Archbishops. Because right now, we only have one Archbishop, right? Petrugus. And, and his characteristics are all about the opposite of being sloth. So again, I thought it was some sort of religion Christianity where think about it like this, right? Anytime you sin and you're a Christian, you need to repent for your sin and pray and hope that Jesus Christ forgives you, right? I think it's the same shit here where sloth is sin. And when you do that, you need to repent for your sins. But will other archbishops of sins also be like that? Or do they completely indulge in their sins? Who knows until we meet other ones, man. Okay. <laughs> Accidentally rising up, Oto, that's always good. <laughs> What is that? Oil? Yo, we got fire? Is that oil? Ia! Oh, bro. Ia, bro. Let's go! This is fucking sick. He didn't even need to do this pose, right? <laughs> 
He doing that Yu Yu Hakusho shit, spirit gun right now. Lentaru Goa! <laughs> Wait. Because <laughs> Goa is fire moves. Al Goa, Ul Goa are actual magic. But we are renting Ia right now. So we're saying rental Goa as if this is fucking magic, bro. Oh! Nice! What? What do you want? What did Satala do for you? I haven't forgotten a single moment of the things you did for me. I thought that they never actually met the witch and they're all just fucking simping and just like listening to the gospel to see if they can awaken her, but it seems like Satala actually did do a lot of things for Beth in the past. <laughs> Even if you've forgotten. Even if you've forgotten. Satala has memory issues? Maybe this is the event of after she consumed all the other six sin witches? Better use Satala interacted before. Satala might have forgotten memory or whatever. That's interesting. The gospel! The gospel! <gasps> oh. One last punch. Oh, <laughs> never mind. We got the gospel back. I'm like, oh man, we lost the gospel. Yeah, it's ASMR time. I was kind of worried because I'm like, oh, the gospel seems to be so important. But okay, we, we have the gospel back. That's that's very lucky, actually. Nice. Are you writing the gospel with your finger? He wrote in the gospel with his own blood. What do you think this will do? What if there's like some sort of trait of a gospel, right? There's some sort of like, what if this is literally the conditions required to transfer ownership of a gospel? You blood pact. You write with your blood. Like, what are you doing? You literally wrote in the gospel with your blood. This has to have significance. There's no way that this is a random occurrence. I fucking refuse it. This has to be like, okay, now, a gospel has been officially delivered to Subaru. He is now Archbishop of Pride or Candidate 2. I don't know, but like, this can't be random. Marita. Looking like he's dead. Is that it? Is he dead? I'm not completely sure if he's done for sure, but that might be it. And honestly, Betragus is such a, he's kind of a tragic character, huh? Right? Because like his entire life has been devoted for the affection of Satala. In fact, they might have had something in the past because apparently she forgot her memories, everything she's done for him, right? He feels this need to pay back with love and all his life, all he's done is devote himself. But now, this bitch got dementia and is now cheating on him with this fucking neat from Japan for no reason. Of course he's gonna be mad. Imagine giving your entire being in existence for her, and it gets thrown away, and this fucking random kid who doesn't deserve it gets, just hogs all the love. Betrigus is such a tragic character. I really enjoyed him. The voice acting was phenomenal, right? The whole manner isn't phenomenal. Their first impressions of what a cult member is, what an archbishop is, just fantastic villain. Like, I love Better Goose, bro. Very tragic. Kind of similar to how, you know, Subaru says, I love Amelia. <laughs> Satala says, I love Subaru. Kind of true, man. Kind of true. One sided love. A victim of one sided love. It is what it is. Oh, shit. Cult members. Cart. <laughs> I don't know why this is funny. Where's Amelia? This random cult member <laughs> dies. Oh. So good. Well, hell, let's go. The flugel tree. All 
all the episode one stuff, man. The oh, best gosh. run we had. Yeah, I, I still think this is the moment where he got the powers. I still think, and, and sure, I'm probably wrong, but my theory still is that during this first run, this desire to save a million no matter what was recognized by Satala, and the regression power was given to Subaru at this moment. I, I still feel like this is where it started and ended. Let's go, boy. Let's go. All Subaru's work, baby. But why? Because it's for you. Because it's you. At the end of the day, it's because he simps for you. He loves you so much. And that love is very interesting because how the fuck could he know anything about Amelia to love her immediately, right? But there's been that, like... She was the first one to show up and quote unquote save him, even though it might have been delusional of how he perceived the, her saving him. She still did it when he was alone in the world and she's super hot and he just kind of fell in love and like that. Just simping super hard. That was a sad episode. <laughs> What's coming? Subaru's coming. Natsuki Subaru. <gasps> <gasps> Yo, look at this. Slow motion, lighting. Get the bomb, right? Get the bomb, where's the bomb? He actually looks cool here. Now's not the time. Bomb, bomb first, where is it? Look at that grip strength. 70 kilogram grip strength, bro. Literally ripping apart this fucking cargo, bro, carriage with his bare hands. 70 kilograms. Oh my god. There it is. He just leaves? Why? Because I love you. Emilia. <gasps> you and stay alive, please. <sighs> Damn. Don't let Rem hear this, bro, but Rem might be happy because she's a cut queen and wishes Subaru to pursue Amelia like this, but. Damn, in this one moment where they finally meet without the row, he takes the bomb, no time to talk, says I love you, and runs away with the bomb. This is some heroic shit, bro. This is on another level of heroic shit right now. Damn. Stay alive. Now what? Where do we send the bomb? Such a good ending. Lap pillow, man. It's frozen here? Interesting. I don't I don't know. This this tree is frozen right now. Run! It's the whale? They froze the whale? Look at all this whale blubber, bro. We could eat this shit. Oh wait. Patrash? Patrash come! Patrash to go here, bro. Patrash covered the explosion, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh boy, you gonna buy this Appa or not? <laughs> Could you imagine? No, it's the finale. No, we're gonna survive. We're gonna survive. Happy ending. <laughs> I don't know. That's Amelia's voice. Happy ending? Patrash! Yeah, he's good, he's good. Wow, I can't believe we pulled that off, man. We're back. Yeah, heal Patrash first, to be honest. Patrash took all the damage there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I feel good. Good lighting. We got flowers. New soundtrack playing. I think we're good, bro. Home run now. Let's go. Victory lap to end the episode. Let's go. Oh my god, we got a lap pillow. Oh my god, we got a lap pillow. You're gonna wake up from a lap pillow, bro. <gasps> e M T. Damn, did the subtitles literally just... The only L of this season's worth of subs has been perhaps... 
Barsu being balls. I don't know why B A L S E was in place. That still might be an intentional way. No, I truly do believe in the sub. And the only other L was the distinction between Imperial and Royal Knights, which I concede. Other than that, bro, look at this shit. The subs are literally blurred with Amelia. Come on now, look at that, bro. Sweaty as fuck. <laughs>俺はね、転がってそっち。ラペロベリー。この距離で頭の下に取り入れる。MT。そんな変な確認しかない。これより贅沢でこくらくなまくら、俺は知らないね。モーティファイ。レム、I'm <笑> いろいろとどうなってるのか。いや、パトラシ君。俺今後もあいつと風になりたいんだけど。ビカムのウェイ。やけどはひどかったけど、私も。ね。オールデボイズグッド。すごく驚いちゃった。ワイ。スバルとユ
she's maybe hoping and praying that if she, if he's fucking in love with her so much to the point where even Satella possesses the body, he'll be fine with it. That's kind of naive, right? That's kind of stupid and naive. I don't detest you. True. I'll be your friend. I'll teach you the way. It's fine, girl. Glaze. Affirm. Glaze. Does she know what love means, though? Because like she don't even know what a date is. I tr I truly believe she's such a naive, pure girl from the fucking mountains that like, what does love really mean here? Subaru is obviously saying it because he truly does love her. But like, does she know? I mean, he's describing it. Does anyone know what's going on here? Yo, 2,000. What is half of 2,000? 1,000. What does the numbers mean to you guys? Hold the fuck up. Hold up. What, what, what is this dialogue? Because Puck said the hands, the shadows. You'll need at least half of what Satala can do. That's what he said to Betrugis, the shadows. 2,000? No, it's just a coincidence, bro. It's just a fucking coincidence. There's, there's no way. There is no way. But if Hill has 2,000 things he loves about Amelia, Satal has 2,000 shadows. I don't know. Is this a connection? Am I reaching? Am I reaching right now? Or is this like the, the author, Tape, being very fucking troll and being like, <laughs> you like that? Just sprinkling it in there. She's ah! crying, man. But she says... I want someone that'll never show me any special treatments. But this is fine now because we're affirming her, we're backing her up, all the insecurities and all the things that she's afraid of will support you no matter what. And that is a special privilege I'll give you. Hey, that's good. Yeah, yeah, why do that? Dude, okay, if they let it go, if they let it go, like, if she didn't mention it, I'd be like, coincidence. But, like, no, stop, stop. stop. <laughs> Why 2000 indeed? <laughs> That's so troll. That's so troll, dude. Are we in? Dude, are we in? Is this the turning point where we graduate from... Stray pet dog into a man that she actually sees as a romantic interest? You should say I love you back if you actually feel it. Oh, the opening! Sorry, sorry, no, no, not opening. This is Stick's Healy, like, separate song. Okay, so this is one of those things where you confess and then the opposing party says, I don't know how to feel about this can you give me some time to respond so like okay okay it's it's been set up this is progress it's better than nothing we're waiting for the answer in season two i guess oh. that's so sad for someone like me to be given such happiness all the time because she probably internalizes how much of like a devil she might be due to the other people's prejudice <laughs> Indulgent. Greedy. Okay. Okay, this line is a bit kind of cringe. It's very forceful. And you can take your time and slowly and steadily fall in love with me, baby girl. I mean, does he deserve to say this shit? It, it's kind of weird. It, it's kind of weird, but like, I'll let him pass. I'll, I'll turn a blind eye because of the thing that he did this episode. This is more bright than fucking dangerous in my heart, bro. Carte. <laughs> Carte 25, ladies and gentlemen. What are you gonna say? He opened his mouth. 
That's all the story's about. Wait, wait, go back, go back, go back, go back. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Little, little Easter egg, little Easter egg. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What are we looking for? What are we looking for? What are we looking for? I can return by death. Uh, what am I looking for? Before, before. Happy, Amelia. I see a million the eyes, right? We see a million the eyes. Super, super, super. Even before? This is still Amelia here. This is still Amelia. Nah, you guys are trolling. You guys are trolling. What do you mean look at the look at the eyes? I looked at the eyes. All I see is Amelia here. Right? And I see Subaru here. And then it's Amelia again. What do you what do you what do you want? What do you, what do you, what do you fucking want right now? There's there's nothing. There is nothing. I'm getting fucking baited, bro. That is ReZero season one. Fantastic anime. I think that this might be my favorite isekai. It's been only one season, 25 episodes albeit. And of course I'm giving it more attention and you know, I'm being way more sweaty about it because I know that the ReZero fandom is huge and I know that ReZero is one of the biggest, you know, isekai. So of course there's going to be some bias. But still, like there hasn't been another isekai that's made me like feel this way before. For sure, Mushoku Tensei is beautiful. For sure, Tensei has amazing fun moments in the world building is great. I love the politics and diplomacy, right? But ReZero just has a character that I can relate to so much. Somebody that is so stuck up with their own pride and ego and their wrath and envy and all these different things to be a flawed person and constantly struggle but overcome and we're just here always witnessing his heroics and even though everyone doesn't see his heroics sometimes, we remember that and we cheer for him. It is such an amazing anime and this is still only season one right there's still season two left and there's so much more ReZero content to be farmed i think that my favorite episodes definitely are episode three reinhardt versus elsa sealed honestly ReZero from the beginning because of how rich the world building was and how much i cared about the characters episode seven is probably the hardest i've ever cried in an anime episode seven the whole scene where subaru realizes all of rem and ram what they you know did in the, in, in you know in the mansion, all those moments, and they never actually cared. Something about that just pierced through me. Episode 15, of course we know that, right? Of course we know episode 15 is touted as one of the best anime episodes ever. I think that episodes 20 and 21, the subjugation of the whale arc was fucking lit. That's an actual raid boss. Episode 23, which is the one where Natsuki Subaru sacrifices himself. That ending where he goes out as a hero, oh my god, these are the standout episodes. And of course the finale is amazing, but I think that overall, yeah, 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 episode 18, I love, I love Amelia, yeah, yeah, I know. I think that right now, ReZero, this is a minimum 9 out of 10. Maybe I'm overglazing, maybe the recency bias is too strong. But I think that in my personal opinion of how much I resonated with this show, this is the best isekai that I've seen. And this isn't me just glazing for no reason other than ReZero Season 3 showing up. No, 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 no. I think that I enjoy this way more on a different league, right? I acknowledge that Mushoku Tensei is great. Tensei is great, right? There's many different isekais that are great. But this is beyond great. This is actually fucking peak. And I'm so glad that I checked it out. We're going to go right into Season 2. But I think we have the Frozen Bond memory. Uh, sorry, Frozen Bond movie to watch. And then there's also a bunch of ReZero content that we can farm. Basically, video essays that cover the season one shit before season two starts. So the farm just begins. That's it for me. If you're still here, though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.